Sweden will apply for NATO, it's official. The largest party in the parliament of Sweden, the Social Democrats, just announced it. They made a huge U-turn from, I don't know, 50 years of being, we are against NATO, we are against NATO, NATO is a bad idea, we should be alliance neutral too, we're pro-NATO now. So the Social Democrats are pro-NATO, the right-wingers are pro-NATO, only two parties in Parliament that have maybe 15, less than 15% of the, uh, the, the seats are against NATO. That means that 80 to 90% of the Parliament seats in Sweden are pro-NATO now. So Sweden will therefore apply for a NATO membership, together with Finland who recently announced the same thing. Now, um, Russia invades Ukraine. So the Ukrainian thing is a long conflict between Russia and Ukraine. It started with Crimea, it started even before that. It started, you can trace it back to the end of the Soviet Union, the fall of the Soviet Union and American influence in Ukraine turning those two neighbors against each other anyways. Russia claims there are a lot of biolaboratories in Ukraine. A lot of troops, a lot of American troops and so on. So that, that's an old conflict and it escalated really much this year when Russia attacked Ukraine from the north, the east and the south. Now, that's a war where Russia causes this special military operation. But during this time period, Sweden and Finland completely changed their minds according to the polls, if you trust the, the, the polls, a large majority, up to like 70 plus percent in Finland are pro-NATO from before being against NATO because of the Russian aggression. So you can understand the people, they feel afraid, you know, uh, a big scary Russia with 6,000 nuclear weapons and the modern military attacks a neutral country. We don't want to stay neutral. We need protection. You can understand that. But Russia claims that NATO is an aggressor and NATO keeps on expanding to the east and that was one of their major arguments Russia has forwarded this argument for a long time I've seen videos of Dmitry Peskov already 2014 talking about this stopping NATO expansion to the east so now when Russia in invades Ukraine NATO takes the opportunity to take two more countries to the east Russia invades Ukraine NATO expands even double to the east. Does that kind of not prove then that the Russian argument of NATO being an aggressor by expanding to the east is true? It kind of does, doesn't it? And then Sweden and Finland are kind of secret members of NATO anyway. The, their militaries uh, practice together. They know each other. Sweden fires 5, 56 times 45 millimeter NATO rounds in their AK-5s and their armies and militaries are compatible and completely synchronized. And, yeah. I think this is very much driven by America. Uh, the U-turn of the Social Democrats, I think it's because the elites, the people upstairs, the people higher up in the echelons in the Western world have pressured um, the parties. That's my thoughts. Peace.